If you guys have clicked on this video, you're probably really confused, but I assure I'm gonna explain everything at the end of the video. But first, we need to go back. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, guys. I'm heading back to California today. It's gonna be a long flight. Probably really confused about what's going on right now, but I'm gonna explain it all once I get there and everything once I'm settled in. It's gonna be a bit of a journey today. Rolling into the airport here, guys. Big shouts out to the homie Nathan that dropped me off today so I don't have to get an Uber. If you guys are into photography, whoa! No biggie. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't die. We didn't die. If you guys are into photography at all, he has a YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the description. Go and check it out. You do film photography too, do you? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, all my photos these days are film. Wow. Yeah. Lovely. That's a true, that's a true art of photography. So yeah, make sure you head on over and check it out. Airport's so dead, check it out. Usually it's packed like you're sitting here for like five, 10 minutes just to drop someone off. But yeah, there's nobody here today. Just got through customs and checked my bags in. Never seen the airport this dead. Like it literally took me five minutes to get from checking my bags in to going through customs. I don't want to film too much in the airport because it feels a little red hot, even though there's no one around. But check it out. Dead as. Not much going on out there. Got a couple of Border Force agents here having tea, coffee or tea. That's about it. Even McDonald's is shut. It's that quiet in here, you could hear a pin drop, honestly. It's been a little while since I've flown, so a little bit nervous, but usually I don't eat breakfast the morning of flying, so I get, get nervous a little bit. Lunch on the plane should be good. I've ordered the vegan, the vegan option, so hopefully it's not too bad. Halfway now, almost. I'm so ready to get off this plane. My back hurts. to be excited. No. LAPD, freeze, put your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> We're in El Segundo, guys. Make sure you don't leave your wallet here. <laughs> you know the <this> song? <laughs> Just got to Los Angeles right now. Sun's coming up, got that morning golden hour. LA sunrise, guys, check it out. We got like an hour drive home right now. Flight, flight wasn't too bad, although they didn't let me like lay down at the back of the plane where there was like nobody. They closed that part of the plane off. I watched some stupid movies on the plane. I watched Gemini Man, Will Smith. I didn't like it. Too much CGI. We had a nap for like an hour and a half, two hours. I'm still pretty tired, but we gotta go out, get a few things today. Some uh, basic essentials I gotta get. Some blank t-shirts, maybe from Walmart or something. And then I don't know what else. Some stuff. Some food, I'm hungry. Very hungry boy. Target, Target. <laughs> That's what they call it in Australia, Target. First ginger beer ever. <laughs> it, was, it was really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. All the way from Bundaberg, Queensland, Australia.
All right, so you guys probably have a fair few questions and concerns. First, to begin with, how I got out of Australia. If you guys aren't aware, Australia currently has a travel ban on its citizens and permanent residents, so you cannot leave the country unless you get an exemption, which can be a bit tricky. And it's actually hard to come back to Australia as well. People have been stranded all around the world trying to get back into Australia but Australia is like locked down right now because of the whole Rona situation we're having worldwide. I was lucky enough to get an exemption from the Australian Border Force to leave Australia to come over here. About a month, two months ago, they added in a section of their criteria for being able to get an exemption to leave Australia. One of the things were that you were going for longer than three months. And honestly, what sparked it for me was Ricky Glasser from Melbourne actually left Melbourne, flew to San Francisco while this whole thing was going on. If any of you guys keep up to date with the Braille videos, you can see that he's obviously skating with Braille in San Francisco now. So that's what sparked it to begin with. I looked further into it. Karina had shown me a video of, what are they called, the Dolan Twins? Is it the Dolan Twins? Yeah, so Karina had showed me a video of the Dolan twins and one of the twins' misses was from Australia and she was able to leave and come into the country. After that, that kind of put the fire under my ass to kind of be like, well, if she's done it, Ricky's done it, how come I can't do it as well? Me, naturally being me, wanting to figure out a way for myself to do what others had done. I went through the whole thing of like emailing Australia Border Force and honestly, I sent out my request at probably like 11 a.m. maybe. I can't remember what day it was. And they got back to me within a few hours and I was driving when I seen, I had got an email back from them. So I didn't check it right away. But once I checked my phone, I kind of had to read it a few times for it to sink in that they had said that I was approved to travel on the grounds of I was going longer than three months. And if you guys have been keeping up with this channel since like day one, pretty much, you guys would have seen that I've been back and forth towards the States now, maybe two, three, I think this is a fourth time now. I've been coming back and forth from the States, seeing Karina. So yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't been back here since last December. I come back last December and I had a gut feeling when we were driving to LAX that I didn't want to go home. I felt like I shouldn't have left. And then once I got home, about a month in, two months in, bang lockdown. Second thing, I pretty much sold my car, my dream car, the Forester, it's gone. I sold it to one of my friends. I quit my job at the tattoo shop that I'd been working for almost three years at that shop. And I saved all my money this year to be able to come on this trip so I can come and skate and just concentrate on making YouTube videos because that's what I really want to do. Like honestly, that's all I want to do is like skate, concentrate on skating, make YouTube videos, and then keep progressing forward with evening. They're like the main three goals right now. I know it sounds a bit crazy me leaving in the middle of a, a global pandemic from Australia, probably the safest country to be in during this whole thing, to America where it's pretty crazy right now, especially California. I'm quite tunnel visioned with what I want and like I honestly, I just wanted to do YouTube and skate. The rest of the people that are doing YouTube and skating are from out here and I really do want to meet with these people and collab and everything like that. So I needed to go on this trip. I need to take this journey for myself. Even if it doesn't come out the way I've planned, then I've still taken that journey. There's an old Hunter S. Thompson quote saying, buy the ticket, take the ride. Because wherever you end up, you're gonna be further along the journey of life than where you began. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just super keen to be able to come and skate and have time and have, and have energy to just pour into making YouTube videos and making content for you guys. Because honestly, I feel like this opportunity doesn't happen for everybody and I'm not going to lose this opportunity to be able to like go work on my channel and skate and um, yeah, progress my life in the way, in the direction where I want it to go. This is a new era, this is a new beginning, this is a new chapter and I'm super keen to share it with you guys. So yeah, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Get keen on more content. I'm going to try to push out like two videos a week. More to come with this channel. Definitely more to come. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. All the people, words they say, ain't meant nothing to me since May.